Hello friends, welcome to Alankar Pharmacy classes again. In this video, I will explain about the handling of written goods in pharmaceutical industry. This is one of the very important topic in pharmaceutical quality assurance subject in B Pharm 6 semester. So stay with me till the end of the video to understand the topic. So without wasting our time, let's start. First of all, pharmaceutical companies may receive return goods because of many reasons through the marketing and distribution channel. Since this includes the handling of pharmaceuticals, thus there should be a clear and effective guideline regarding the handling of return products. The guidelines related to the handling of written products are described under subpart K of federal rules and according to FDA, procedures for holding, testing and reprocessing of written drug products shall be in writing and shall be followed. There are many reasons of return goods from market. There may be a return of goods because of the instructions of drug control or regulatory authorities. Other than this, goods may be returned from distribution channel. For example, there may be a case of expired products. There may be a products with damaged containers. Then problems related to the closures in packing. Other than these products unidentifiable due to improper printing of labels over the products. For example, the product is unidentifiable because the name or batch number is not printed properly. Other than this, there may be a case in which product may not be sellable due to improper appearance, although the name and the batch numbers are clearly visible. Other than this, there may be a case that products are returned by any voluntary action by pharmaceutical industry itself and lastly any problem associated with product reported by customers. So these all are the reasons by which any pharmaceutical industry is receiving return goods from the market. Now next topic is related to the procedure that is followed by the pharmaceutical industry after receiving return goods. So return goods first received by the warehouse of finished goods and after that the stock of return goods placed in a any secured area so as to avoid any mix up with any other type of material. Then there should be a proper labeling of return goods with a particular reason of return that we have already discussed earlier. Then there is a preparation of assessment report which includes the description of condition of goods. The factors to be considered for the preparation of report are nature of product, any special storage conditions it requires, thirdly conditions of product, fourth history of product and fifth is the time elapsed since it was issued. After that the report sent to head quality assurance and after that there is a critical assessment of written goods by the quality control through any specific written procedures or standard operating procedures. On the basis of quality control testing, goods can be classified into three types. There may be a drug product that complies the all acceptable standards or specifications. There may be a case that product can be in a form of that it can be reprocessed to comply with standards. And thirdly, the product may fail all specifications or in simple words, there may be a unacceptable products. After this, the report sent to quality assurance head for appropriate action. In the case the product is complying all the necessary standards, then the product is sent to resale or relabeling. And there may be a case that the product is in the form that it can be reprocessed further to comply with the standards. The product is sent for reprocessing provided the product meet appropriate standards, specifications and characteristics. And lastly, there may be a case the product fails all specifications or simply it is an unacceptable product, then in that case the product is then destroyed. Even where any doubt arises over the quality of the product, it should not be reused or relabeled. And the last topic of the today's class is the records of return goods. Here in this case, all actions taken should be appropriately recorded. As per FDA, the records of return drug products shall be maintained and shall include the name and label potency of the drug product doses form, lot number or control number or batch number, reasons for the return, quantity return, date of disposition and ultimate disposition of the return drug products. 
so this is all with the today's topic hope you all have liked this video so please do share with your colleagues who are in the search of these topics i will continue the topics related to pharmaceutical quality assurance in my upcoming videos also so thanks for watching thank you friends